up guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be comparing the new kylie skin walnut scrub versus the saint ives walnut scrub more acne and so i've been seeing a lot of controversy and hoopla going around about the kylie skin walnut scrub being compared to the saint ives walnut scrub and as we know the internet has a lot to say about the St. Ives Walnut Scrub and basically everyone is giving Kylie flack and dragging her through the mud saying, oh why would you make a walnut scrub? But something, I don't know, tells me it's not as bad as people are making it out to be. So I decided to go ahead and test these for myself and compare them and also do a little bit of a deeper dive to see is this really as bad as everyone is making it seem and is this as bad as everyone is making it seem because why would it still be on the market and it is been a high school and youngster favorite so is it really that bad for your skin if you guys are interested in seeing this comparison and my thoughts and a little bit of research on both of these products then just keep on watching also if you are new here and enjoy this type of content on acne and acne prone skin makeup for it and skincare anything having to do with acne then hit that subscribe button down below and let's just get on into the video and see how these compare. So I'm gonna start off by taking off my makeup. Just for some context, it is currently 11.30 at night. I'm exhausted. I've had this makeup on for way too long. And I, my face needs some serious exfoliation, so I'm very excited to test both of these out. <laughs> So just for a little bit of a background, this is the Kylie Skin Walnut Face Scrub. Um, as soon as this launched, I bounced in that checkout line, broke my finger pressing that buy button because I was so curious to test this out and I also bought her vitamin C serum and I am testing out for that so watch out for a video for that, stay tuned. And so far I'm not mad at it but I haven't tested this yet so we will see. And also, just for a little bit of background on my journey personally with the St. Ives scrub, I used this all throughout high school as my exfoliator during the week, at night. I haven't used this in two years, I want to say like two years, because then I started hearing a bunch of things and reading about it like, oh it causes micro tears in the skin, it's terrible, like it's trash, just throw it away, so obviously that freaked me out. So I immediately stopped using it because it was ruining my skin, but also funny enough, two years ago, year and a half, my skin was much clearer than it is now, and because of that I've always had these like random thoughts like, Hmm, should I go back to the St. Ives Walnut Scrub and will my skin clear up if I use it again? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. And just to get a good look at my skin, so we have some nice breakouts up in this area. And over here. Yeah. These have been here for a good couple of weeks now. It's getting very frustrating and I just feel like my skin can use some nice deep exfoliation. So first let's compare these. So I'm gonna put the same right on the back of my hand. And now let's put on the Kylie one that's hmm. Kylie's is a lot more liquidy. So right off the bat I can tell that the same eyes is a lot thicker and more coarse and grainy while the Kylie's is a lot more kind of feels like a meal like it's much more fine and finely ground if you can see that so we have St. Ives right here and the Kylie walnut scrub here honestly now that I'm taking a look at it I never realized how grainy and chunky the St. Ives walnut scrub is especially compared to the Kylie it looks a lot smoother and you can barely see the little grains in the Kylie. Like you could see them that they're there, but the St. Ives is just so much more visibly chunky. It's like you literally got the walnut or whatever and just like pounded it, but not finely when the Kylie looks more like grounded espresso. Oh, wow. Well, the other one is just very like, I see why they say micro tears in the skin from the shards. Unclear, but I can see why that may be a case just because it is so visibly chunky and I'm nervous. I'm very nervous now. <laughs> so 
So I'm gonna go ahead and wet my face and then we're gonna exfoliate and see how this goes. All right, guys, so as you can see, my skin is very damp and it is ready for application. So first, let's start off with the St. Ives. I'm more familiar with it. Again, I haven't used it in two years, so we'll see how this goes. And I'm gonna use it on this side of my face. So just get into it. I'm so nervous. I literally haven't used this in two years. I don't know why I'm dotting out my face like foundation, but let's see what happens. Pray for my skin. It literally has the same scent that I remember. It springs back. So many memories. It's definitely very grainy. You can for sure feel the exfoliant. And you can feel all the little chunks, if you will. It is not a subtle scrub by any means and it's very... I don't know if abrasive is the word, but you can feel it. Like you can even see it on my hands. Like I don't know if you can tell these like little chunks. And they don't dissolve as you keep rubbing it into the skin. It looks like it just keeps exfoliating. So yeah, they're not diminishing, they're not breaking, they are staying pretty together. My skin doesn't feel terrible or super irritated just yet, but we'll see. And now let's go on the right side and go in with the Kylie Walnut Scrub. Oh well, right away it already feels gentler than the St. Ives did. Let me get into here. And it feels a lot more even, like even spread. And it just feels finer. So I also feel like it's exfoliating my skin more and more evenly than the St. Ives. I feel like it's a lot more patchy with its exfoliating. I will say right off the bat, both of them do not feel like like my acne doesn't hurt and it doesn't feel super inflamed and irritated from either one just yet. I will say the Kylie skin side so far feels better to me just rubbing it in and in general. Hopefully after this, these pimps in the crib just drop it like it's hot off my face. One can dream. Okay, now that they're both on my face, again, this side Kylie, this side St. Ives, um, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face and then we'll see how it feels and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back and I am washed my face. Let's see how they feel. They feel equally as soft to the touch, but I do feel, they feel kind of the same. Like if I'm being honest, they feel the same. Uh, I feel like I'm a little redder on the St. Ives side than I am on the Kylie side, but nothing too crazy. Also, my pimples don't look more inflamed than normal when I'm using a physical exfoliator. They look pretty much standard and the same. And my skin feels pretty good. I will say maybe that the Kylie side feels a tad bit more hydrating, but nothing super significant where it's that much of a difference from the St. Ives. Um, yeah, I really like how my skin feels. It really feels super soft. Now, with the launch of Kylie's product, it also got me thinking of the current physical exfoliator that I use, and that is the one by Ole Hendrickson. It is the Pore Balancing Facial Sauna Scrub, and it's pretty much, it feels to me very similar to the Kylie. Um, just for comparison purposes, I'll show you. I really like this because this actually warms up. It feels like very warm when you're rubbing it into the skin, which is cool. It's like heating almost, like a sauna. So if you can see, there's the Ole Henriksen, and here is the Kylie. Um, honestly, the Ole Henriksen also feels grainy, but you can tell that some of the little particles are very round and circular, so apparently that's supposed to be really good and not have sharp edges, so that's pretty good for your skin. But the Kylie Skin Walnut Scrub still feels finer and more finely milled, so I actually find that very interesting. And so when I was doing research, I watched a ton of videos 
about Kylie's skin and just comparing it to St. Ives and also about walnut scrub and walnut shells and walnut shell powder in general and about some misconceptions because I don't know I just there was something in me that just doesn't agree with everyone saying oh it's the worst thing for your skin blah 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 and then it causes micro tears but then I saw this other video and it said that micro tears are actually not even proven yet in the skincare community I have to do a deeper dive on that yeah, but people always like compare walnut shell powder and they're always basically saying like, you know, when you watch on Twitter and stuff, you might as well be rubbing your face in sand, blah, blah, blah. So I actually did a deeper dive for more information and I actually talked to a friend of mine who is an esthetician. She is Shelly Skincare here on YouTube and she had said that walnut powder is not necessarily bad depending on how it's ground. If the walnut shells are really ground into a fine powder or almost like a meal, it would be very difficult to harm your skin and do a lot of damage as people are claiming like with the micro tears. Obviously if it's in shards and it's not as finely ground then that is a possibility but mostly it should be around especially in most skincare products so that made me even more curious to do some research and do a deeper dive into other videos and i was searching the internet for more unbiased sources not only towards kylie but just the whole walnut shell powder fiasco in general just because i have only always heard one side from it that it's terrible but i've never heard anyone either defending the walnut scrubs or not and like if it's good for acne and obviously when I found out oh like this is terrible for your skin blah 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 I immediately stopped using it haven't used it in two years and when I found out Kylie came out with it I'm like okay if it's that bad like I don't think Kylie wants to get dragged again I don't know her I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure she would hire a good skincare team or estheticians that have a good knowledge and background because she would want her brand to be successful especially after just being in Forbes unclear again I don't know I don't know the backstory so when she came out with it it really got me thinking the walnut scrub as bad as everyone's making it out to be I don't know so the two videos I found that made me actually want to try these and really give my own opinion and see what I thought about them was one by Angie Berg and Shandura Castian Castian I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing that but they did a really good job with the deep dive in the ingredients um, Angie is actually a certified chemist so she did a really good deep dive into the ingredients and what those are supposed to do for your skin how they help if they're bad and she had said that it is not a terrible scrub and that it shouldn't cause a lot of harm basically and I found it interesting because like I was reading the ingredients on the box and I was trying to send it to Shelly the esthetician just to double check in background but I would for sure go ahead and watch Angie Berg's video because she did a really good job and knows a lot more about ingredients and all the chemistry behind it than I do so I will link her down in the description below but I thought it was very interesting and she was very unbiased and really gave just like the straight facts which was I was looking for and I found super helpful and then Shonda was basically giving her opinion and she was also trying out the Kylie walnut scrub versus the St. Ives but she was also doing an ingredient deep dive and also kind of like a backstory about the whole St. Ives we asked of like they were sued and blah 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 and basically kind of gave her opinion on it and I thought her video was also very well and very unbiased so if you guys want a more deep dive into that whole fiasco and basically that the backstory of walnut scrub and the misconceptions of walnut shell powder for sure watch her video it was super informative and it gave me a whole new perspective on it it made me even more want to try the kylie skin walnut face scrub for myself so after this will i continue to use the kylie walnut scrub and do i think it is better than the same eye I actually really like this product i'm um surprised not that i thought i was gonna hate it but i just didn't think I don't know what I thought. I don't know if I thought it was going to be good or if it wasn't. I was just kind of skeptical and also very nervous because of all the walnut scrub hoopla. Like, Kylie, why would you make a walnut scrub? Like, blah, blah, blah. Kylie doesn't even use her skincare. Honestly, she probably doesn't. You know, all these celebrities use a bunch of, like, lasers, hydrafacials, blah, blah, blah. Have their own esthetician that comes to their house. So maybe she does use some of her skincare. Maybe she doesn't. But, you know commoner over here i had to use the skincare that works for me maybe facial here and there but your girl can't afford to get facials 
every week, unfortunately. As much as I would love to, and maybe I'd have clear skin. Again, I don't know. But I am actually very surprised how much I like this. Um, I think I am going to continue to use it just because it felt like it gave me a more even exfoliation than the St. Ives did. And it just felt, I was surprised how good it felt on my skin and it didn't feel super abrasive, but it also felt like it was doing the job. So I'm not mad at it. I'm actually pretty happy that this is as gentle as she claims like if she was like oh gentle enough to use every day um if you should exfoliate or not every day that's a different topic i have my own thoughts on that again if you want me to go in depth on physical versus chemical exfoliations and how often let me know in the comments below after watching angie's video and chandra's video i honestly feel like it's not that bad as people are making it out to be and again i have acne and it doesn't feel any worse than when i use my ole henriksen sauna scrub like literally they feel the same if anything this is again more finely milled and feels more even so i recommend this too i really love it so if you don't want to try the kylie skin just because it's like a walnut powder i would go with this or even shelly from shelly skincare has recommended if you don't even want to take the risk of possible micro tears whether they're proven or not you can use things such as like jojoba seeds blueberry seeds kiwi seeds things like that and those are more natural or alternatives that are naturally more spherical and round so they shouldn't be super abrasive to your skin but they'll still help exfoliate and this guy i haven't used him in a while but I don't think I will continue to use this. Well, I guess I will continue to not use it because I haven't used it in two years. But I will for sure be supplementing the Kylie Skin with the same eyes just because from the looks of it and from what I've been hearing, the Kylie Skin has much better ingredients anyway. So I would much rather use that on my skin and again, get just a more even exfoliation overall. And if you guys are interested, I will do a one month update to see if it has helped my acne, maybe it's significantly worse. I don't know. Again, this is just a first impression. This is my first time using it ever on my skin so it can all go downhill from here or I can have clear skin again like I had two years ago when I was using the St. Ives. If that happens, I'll be so happy. Let me know if you guys have picked up some Kylie skin or your favorite physical or chemical exfoliants and also your thoughts on the whole walnut shell powder and walnut scrub me ask where do you stand on it? Are you gonna pick up Kylie skin? Do you support her? Do you think, girl, why are you rubbing that sand all over your face? Did you used to use St. Ives? I would love to know your thoughts and your experiences with any and all of these products and also any recommendations you have. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful and I will see you next week. Bye guys.